All throughout her life, Sam McCall has been recognized for her fiery independence and unyielding willpower. Despite the fact that she is accustomed to dealing with risk and uncertainty in her line of work as a private investigator, she has never experienced a sense of insecurity in her relationship with Dante Falconery. However, as she observes Dante growing more and more distant from her, as well as from everyone else in his immediate vicinity, she recognizes that this sense of security is beginning to deteriorate. The experiences that Dante has had in his life include his time spent in the WSB, his difficulties with post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, and his return to the police force. Throughout everything that has happened, Sam has been his rock, but suddenly something has changed. Dante gives off the impression of being emotionally unavailable, preoccupied, and aloof. Despite the fact that he is moving away, Sam can't help but feel as though she is losing him. Sam is the first person to observe tiny shifts in Dante's conduct at the beginning of the week. Over the past few weeks, he has been working longer hours, taking on additional shifts, and volunteering for projects that are potentially hazardous. In the beginning, Sam attributes it to Dante's unwavering commitment to his work. But it quickly becomes apparent that there is more to the story than that. Once Dante arrives home, he frequently goes straight to bed without uttering a single word. Silence and awkward exchanges have taken the place of their once energetic and passionate chats, which have grown scarce and infrequent with the passage of time. Even though Sam makes numerous attempts to communicate with Dante, he is met with opposition at every turn. In response to her anxieties, Dante reassures her that everything is great and that he is only preoccupied with his work during this time. The strain in his eyes, the way he avoids her stare, and the way he appears to be carrying the weight of the world on his shoulders are all things that Sam is aware of. But she is aware of the fact that he is hiding from her. Sam's feelings of insecurity are beginning to intensify as time passes. Suddenly, she begins to wonder whether she has done something wrong, if she has, in some way, alienated Dante without even being aware of it. The uncertainty continues to eat away at her, and she finds herself recounting each and every discussion and encounter in an effort to discover hints as to what might have been the source of the chasm that exists between them. Alexis Davis, Sam's mother, is the one she seeks guidance from when she is feeling disoriented and uncertain. Alexis has always been a source of stability and insight for Sam, and she has high hopes that her mother will be able to assist her in making sense of what is going on with Dante. Sam confesses her anxieties and doubts while having a peaceful supper at Alex's place. She reveals her innermost thoughts and feelings. While Sam expresses her anxieties, Alexis takes the time to listen with patience and provides a reassuring presence. That Dante might be dealing with something that has nothing to do with Sam is something that she suggests he might be coping with. It might be something from his past or something related to his work. Not only does Alexis push Sam to have open channels of communication, but she also encourages her to be patient and give Dante the space he requires. In spite of the reassurances that her mother has provided, Sam is unable to shake the notion that there is something more profound going on. Dante is someone she knows better than anybody else, and she has a feeling that he is concealing something from her. What is the question right now? While all is going on, Dante is in fact, struggling with something that is both dark and troubling. A recent case that Dante has been working on has provoked a series of troubling memories and nightmares that have reappeared, and Sam is unaware of this fact. Dante has been struggling with these memories and nightmares. Dante has been brought back to his own painful experiences by the case, which involves a young woman who was kidnapped and held captive for years. This case has touched him too close to home. This time, the memories are too intense to ignore, despite the fact that Dante has always been skilled at compartmentalizing his feelings. During the day, they are present in his thoughts, and at night, they are present in his dreams. He is finding that he is getting increasingly distant, not only from Sam, but from everyone else in his life as well. It is his fear that if he allows anyone to inside, 
they would be able to see the weaknesses that he has been working so hard to conceal, which are the cracks in his armor. The further Dante withdraws from the situation, the more isolated he feels. He is trapped in a vicious cycle, which consists of him pushing others away in order to shield them from his suffering. But in doing so, he is only increasing his own feelings of isolation and hopelessness. Dante is in the firm belief that he must manage this situation on his own, and that allowing others to witness his vulnerability would just make the situation even more difficult. As the distance between Sam and Dante increases, Sam's desperation increases. She is unable to bear the idea of being apart from him, but she is unsure of how to get in touch with him. When she makes an effort to discuss the situation with Dante, he always refuses to listen to her and insists that he is doing well and that there is no need for concern over the situation. In spite of the fact that he is unwilling to acknowledge it, Sam is aware of the agony that is visible in his eyes. The insecurities that Sam had started to show up in ways that she had not anticipated. Suddenly, she begins to question her own actions, wondering whether she is providing Dante with sufficient support, whether she is expressing the appropriate things, and whether she is in some way failing him. She finds that she is becoming more uneasy and hesitant with each passing day as the doubt continues to consume her and chip away at her trust. As Sam's situation worsens, she seeks help from Jason Morgan, who was her ex-husband and a close friend for many years. Since Jason has been a consistent figure in Sam's life from the beginning, she has high hopes that he will be able to provide some insight into the situation that is currently taking place with Dante. At Kelly's, Sam confides in Jason about the growing distance that exists between her and Dante. The conversation takes place over a cup of coffee. The expression on Jason's face is unreadable as he listens quietly. The toll the life of risk and violence can take on a person is something that he is more adept than anyone else at understanding. And he has a sneaking suspicion that Dante is coping with something that he does not wish to discuss. Sam receives advice from Jason to give Dante the space he requires. But he also cautions her against exerting too much pressure on him. When it comes to helping someone, Jason advises her that there are times when the greatest thing you can do is to wait for them to come to you at their own pace. Despite the fact that Jason has given him guidance, Sam is having a harder and harder time being patient. She becomes more and more agitated as Dante continues to draw away from her. She is beginning to experience the sensation that she is losing him, as if the life that they have created together is slipping away from her fingertips. Sam is driven to take extreme steps as a result of his overwhelming anxiety at the possibility of losing Dante. During a moment of desperation, Sam makes the decision to follow Dante in the hopes of discovering the truth about what is taking place. Over the course of one evening, she follows him as he exits the police station and watches as he drives to a neighborhood that is foreign to her. Sam's heart is racing as she follows him down a dark street that is completely empty, and she is curious about what she will discover. When Dante comes to a stop in front of an old structure that is in a state of disrepair, Sam's anxiousness reaches a high level. As she watches him exit the vehicle and disappear inside, she is left wondering what he is doing in such a location. She is left wondering what he is doing. Because Sam is unable to avoid the situation, he makes the decision to investigate and sneaks into the building after Dante. He is taken aback by what she discovers inside. In a room with load lighting, Dante is having a conversation with a group of individuals who appear to be participating in a support group. Sam comes to the realization that Dante has been battling with his post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, more than he has been letting on, and that he has been attending these sessions in secret attempting to deal with his pain on his own. Sam is quietly listening from the shadows. Sam has a mixture of relief and grief as a result of the news. Despite the fact that she is happy to learn that Dante is receiving assistance, she is hurt by the fact that he felt he was unable to share this aspect of his life with her. During the time that she is seeing Dante from the shadows, Sam is overcome with feelings of remorse and sorrow. 
She has come to the realization that her fervent desire to maintain her hold on him has only served to push him further away. Dante is confronted by Sam the following morning on what she witnessed. She does not accuse him of anything, but rather she asks him in a gentle manner why he felt he was unable to come to her with his troubles. The peaceful temperament that Sam exudes takes Dante by surprise, and for the first time in weeks, he allows himself to relax and let his guard down. Sam is the recipient of Dante's confession regarding the dreams, the memories, and the guilt that he has been carrying around. He informs her about the circumstances surrounding the case that sparked everything and how he has been having a hard time keeping it all together. Dante freely acknowledges that he did not want to burden Sam with his suffering, because he was concerned that she might perceive him differently if she understood how much he was suffering. Sam continues to listen in silence, her heart bleeding for the guy she loves. She gives Dante the assurance that he does not have to go through this by himself, and that she will always be there for him even if things go wrong. Dante is informed by Sam that she loves him despite all of his shortcomings, and that she wants to assist him in bearing the load rather than adding to it. The amount of support and understanding that Sam has shown Dante is overwhelming. As a result of the realization that he does not have to confront his demons by himself, he has a sense of relief for the first time in several weeks. They ultimately start to close the gap that has been forming between them as a result of the talk, which marks a turning point for both of them. During the days that follow, Dante gradually begins to reveal more and more information to Sam. In order to let her in on the challenges that he has been going through, he begins to share his thoughts and feelings with her. Sam, on the other hand, develops a greater capacity for understanding and patience, allowing Dante the space he requires, but yet being there for him whenever he requires her assistance. Through a series of baby steps, the two of them start to put their relationship back together again. They are both dedicated to make it work, despite the fact that it is not an easy task and that there are occasionally periods of strain and doubt. Sam begins to accompany Dante to some of his treatment sessions, during which she gains a deeper understanding of post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, and the ways in which she may provide support for him. During the course of working through their problems together, Sam and Dante's connection grows stronger than it ever has before. They acquire the ability to rely on one another, to speak in an open and honest manner, and to hone their patience with both themselves and with one another. The procedure is as follows.